The 2023 Ironman Canada Triathlon marked the end of an era, a significant chapter in the history of endurance sports. Pendicton, British Columbia, hosted the event for the final time, closing a long-standing tradition that has been cherished by many. For over 30 years, Ironman Canada has been a significant part of the city's identity, drawing athletes and spectators from around the world. The iconic race will move to Ottawa in 2025, marking a new beginning for the event in the nation's capital. This year, over 2,000 athletes participated, each bringing their own stories of perseverance and determination. They tackled the grueling 2.4-mile swim, battling the cold waters and pushing their limits, followed by a 112-mile bike ride through challenging terrains and a 26.2-mile run that tested their endurance to the fullest. Penticton's mayor Julius Bloomfield acknowledged the economic challenges of hosting the event, highlighting the financial strain it placed on the city. He stated that maintaining Ironman Canada locally had become unsustainable, despite the event's popularity and historical significance. Despite the departure, the legacy of Ironman Canada in Penticton will endure, remembered fondly by all who participated and supported it. Athletes and spectators celebrated the triathlon's history throughout the race weekend, sharing stories and memories of past races. Tributes honored the event's significance in the Okanagan City, recognizing the impact it had on the community and the sport. The final race in Penticton was a bittersweet farewell, filled with emotions as athletes crossed the finish line for the last time in this iconic location. The community had embraced Ironman Canada for decades, showing unwavering support and enthusiasm for the event. The decision to move the race from Penticton followed years of economic difficulties, as the city struggled to balance the costs and benefits of hosting such a large-scale event. Hosting the large-scale event had become increasingly challenging for the city, requiring extensive resources and planning. Despite the economic realities, the legacy of Ironman Canada in Penicton is undeniable, with countless memories and achievements etched in the hearts of many. The event will forever be etched in the history of the city, a testament to the spirit of endurance and community. The final race in Penicton was a testament to the enduring spirit of Ironman Canada, showcasing the dedication and passion of the athletes. Athletes and spectators alike came together to celebrate the event's rich history and legacy, creating a sense of unity and shared purpose. It was a fitting tribute to a race that has become synonymous with the city of Penticton, leaving behind a legacy that will be remembered for generations to come. In an unprecedented turn of events, the swim portion of Ironman Canada was cancelled, leaving many athletes and spectators in shock. The reason? Frigid water temperatures that posed a significant risk to the participants. Race organizers made the difficult decision early Sunday morning after thorough deliberation and consultation with safety experts. They determined that the water temperature in Okanagan Lake was too cold for safe swimming, a decision that was not taken lightly. World triathlon rules are clear and stringent. The swim leg must be cancelled if the water temperature is 11.9 degrees Celsius or lower, ensuring the safety of all athletes. Social media posts from athletes and spectators painted a chilly picture, with many expressing their concerns and disappointment. The water temperature was reported to be around 13 degrees Celsius, just above the cutoff but still dangerously cold. The air temperature was even colder, hovering at a brisk 10 degrees Celsius, adding to the challenging conditions. The cancellation of the swim leg dramatically changed the race format, forcing athletes to adapt quickly. Athletes would now start with a time trial bike leg, a format that required a different set of skills and strategies. This change presented a significant challenge for some athletes, especially those who had trained extensively for the swim. Strong swimmers who rely on the swim to gain an early lead had to adjust their strategies, finding new ways to compete effectively. The new format favored athletes who excelled in biking and running, giving them an unexpected advantage. Despite the unexpected change, athletes demonstrated remarkable adaptability and resilience, showcasing their true spirit. The cancellation of the swim leg was a significant event in the history of Ironman Canada, marking a notable deviation from tradition. It was the first time in the race's history that such a measure had been taken, underscoring the unique challenges of this year's event. The decision, while disappointing for many, highlighted the importance of athlete safety, a core value of Ironman events worldwide. In the end, the athletes' perseverance and adaptability shone through, 
making this year's Ironman Canada a memorable and historic event. The cancellation of the swim leg forced athletes to adapt. A time trial start for the bike leg replaced the traditional mass start. Athletes set off individually at 30-second intervals. This created a different dynamic from the outset. Pacing and time management became crucial. Athletes could no longer rely on drafting behind competitors during the swim to conserve energy. The time trial start also made it harder to gauge positioning within the race. Athletes had limited visual cues from competitors. Despite the unexpected change, most athletes took the altered format in stride. They embraced the opportunity to test their abilities in a unique race scenario. The time trial start added an element of unpredictability to the race. It showcased the athlete's adaptability and resilience. The ability to adjust to unforeseen circumstances is a hallmark of Ironman triathletes. The altered format tested the athlete's mental and physical fortitude. It highlighted the importance of adaptability and resilience in endurance sports. Despite the challenges, the athletes rose to the occasion, demonstrating their unwavering commitment to the sport. Section 4. Sanders seizes victory, a triumphant finish, in Penticton. Canadian triathlete Lionel Sanders was a favorite to win. His journey to this race had been marked by relentless training and an unyielding spirit. Known for his strength in biking and running, Sanders was well positioned to capitalize on the cancellation of the swim leg. This change played to his strengths, giving him a strategic advantage. Sanders had a strong season, his rigorous training regimen and focus on improving his weaknesses had paid off. He won at Ironman 70.3 Oceanside and Mont Tremblant, showcasing his versatility and endurance across different terrains and conditions. Ranked 13th overall but 196th in swimming, Sanders started the time trial bike race in 14th place. Despite this, his confidence never wavered. He quickly took the lead, building a significant advantage over his competitors. His powerful cycling skills were on full display. Sanders's dominance continued throughout the cycling portion of the race. His focus and determination were evident as he pushed through each mile. He entered the marathon in first place. The transition was seamless, a testament to his preparation and experience. The final run leg saw Sanders maintain his lead. His pace was steady and his resolve unbreakable. He secured victory in the last Ironman Canada race to be held in Penticton. It was a moment of triumph and celebration. His win was a fitting end to the triathlon's historic run in the city. The crowd's cheers echoed the significance of the moment. It solidified his status as one of the top Ironman athletes in the world. His victory was not just a personal achievement, but a milestone in his career. Sanders' performance was a testament to his exceptional biking and running abilities. His strategic approach and physical prowess were unmatched. It was a remarkable display of athleticism and determination. Every stride and pedal stroke reflected his commitment to excellence. Sanders' victory was a testament to his hard work and dedication. His relentless pursuit of greatness had culminated in this unforgettable win. It was a proud moment for Canadian triathlon and a fitting end to Ironman Canada's time in Penticton. The national pride was palpable. His performance inspired athletes and spectators alike. It was a reminder of what can be achieved with passion and perseverance. He proved that with determination and perseverance, anything is possible. Sanders' journey is a beacon of hope and inspiration for aspiring athletes everywhere. Section 5. Community and Athlete Reactions A mix of disappointment and resilience. The cancellation of the swim leg elicited mixed reactions. Some athletes expressed disappointment. They had trained extensively for the full Ironman distance. Others recognized the necessity of the decision. They prioritized athlete safety above all else. The Penticton community, known for its unwavering support of Ironman Canada, rallied behind the athletes. They offered encouragement and understanding in the face of the unexpected change. The athletes, for their part, demonstrated remarkable resilience. They adapted to the new race format with determination. They understood that the Ironman is as much about overcoming challenges as it is about crossing the finish line. The shared experience fostered a sense of camaraderie among the athletes. The cancellation of the swim leg, while unforeseen, did not dampen the spirits of the Ironman Canada community. The event showcased the true spirit of triathlon resilience, adaptability, and unwavering support. Overall, the cancellation of the swim leg was a reminder that flexibility and resilience are essential qualities for Ironman triathletes. 
The athletes' ability to adapt to the unexpected changes demonstrated their mental toughness and determination. Section 6. Ironman Canada's Next Chapter. A New Beginning in Ottawa. As Ironman Canada moves to Ottawa, there is a sense of optimism and renewal. Ottawa, Canada's capital city, offers a fresh start for the iconic race. The city boasts a rich history, vibrant culture, and picturesque setting. Ottawa's extensive network of parkways, scenic canals, and urban green spaces provides an ideal backdrop for a world-class triathlon. The move to Ottawa is an opportunity for Ironman Canada to grow and evolve. The city's commitment to hosting world-class events is undeniable. Ottawa has the infrastructure and logistical capabilities to ensure a successful event. Ironman Canada's legacy is secure. The event will continue to inspire athletes and captivate audiences. The move to Ottawa marks a new chapter in the race's storied history. It is a chance to create new memories and forge new traditions. Ironman Canada